Pushing the limits and building strength are themes in Amy Napier's life. But two weeks ago, this fitness fanatic says something happened that no amount of weight training could have prepared her for. I'm surprised I didn't get in a car accident because it really, it really freaked me out. <laughs> She's talking about what she found inside this peanut butter caramel cliff bar she bought at a gas station on the drive to the gym. I'm watching the road, so I was not looking at what I was biting into. So I opened the corner of the wrapper, took a bite of the cliff bar, and I took a couple bites, and I just knew the texture, like something was not right. We're talking the whole bar crawling with worms and moss and eggs. She said she immediately sealed up these creepy crawlers. There's a worm right there and it's moving. And contacted the Cliff Bar Company. And what they did say in an email is, sorry, we know what type of moth this is, the Indian meal moth, and it can get in through microscopic pores, you know, in the in the bag. Bob Sprague is an entomology and pest control expert with 30 years experience. He says the company's response is not consistent with what he's seen. He says the idea that the maggots got into a protein bar after it was packaged is far-fetched. The eggs had to be laid somewhere. Now if they lay, I've never, I've never seen the moths lay the eggs on a package and they open up and chew through to get into the thing. A spokesperson for Cliff Bar told Fox News we're truly sorry for Miss Napier's discovery and for her discomfort and thankful that she brought this to our attention. We keep our bakeries scrupulously clean and the information that she provided is helpful when researching the problem in the distribution system. We also contacted the Food and Drug Administration about this story. The agency says it can't address this specific story, but a spokesperson says the presence of live insects, maggots, worms, etc. in a product is not acceptable. However, you may not know the agency has set certain defect levels for foods, even those that are packaged. The reason? The agency says it is economically impractical to grow, harvest, or process raw products that are totally free of non-hazardous, naturally occurring, unavoidable defects. So what is acceptable? Take canned mushrooms, for example. The FDA's limit is 20 or more maggots per can. As for chocolate, the FDA says there can be no more than three rodent hairs in a sample the size of three average candy bars. This belief, I've never had anything in my mouth, like food-wise, that was crawling. Amy says this situation has really changed the way she looks at food. You've got to be aware of what you're putting into your mouth um, and that, you know, something that is completely sealed and not past the due date can have insects in it and worms and moss and eggs. Chris Murphy, Fox 29 News. 